So here we are again. We are four months into trying to get fit for the new year and before I go on my holidays. So what I said to myself was we're going to have four months of bulking, as in I'm going to eat a little bit over, but we're going to not worry too much about the diet as long as I'm getting my protein and everything. And we've done that part. So we've done the easy bits where I just get to eat a lot of food. Now we're on the, the downhill slope where for the next four months, it's very windy outside by the way, I've got to try to cut some weight. So what we're doing is I'm going to be eating exactly the same as I am or I have been doing for these past four months, except rather than just, oh, I can have some cheese in my omelette. I'll just throw some cheese in. It's okay. 20 grams of cheese, 80 grams of egg whites, snacks, no more snacks apart from allocated specific snacks. I've got a cup of tea over there with no sugar and two no sugar cookies. They're disgusting. I hate them. Um, I probably wouldn't buy them again. Don't buy no sugar cookies. They're, they're not nice. That is the plan. It's just going to be a, a stricter diet. Now, the only thing that has been an issue uh, so far, we're like 10, 11 days into the month so far. Uh, I'm finding it really hard to eat a lot less, like not snack and things, because I've just done four months where I've been eating a lot. I've been eating over 2,500 calories consistently. So just going from that, all right, slash like nearly a thousand calories off of that for the next four months. Uh, my body's kind of saying it still wants to eat. And I think I'm gonna have to progressively slowly start getting into that routine because I think just cutting all of that out so quickly is quite hard. So I'm hoping that this is just like a couple weeks of iffy, washy, uh, bad diets. And then we sort of get a bit, I mean, it's not really a bad diet. It's the same diet I'm having before. It's just to lose weight, I need to cut, but I'm just finding it hard to cut at the moment. So it's the first month, first week. So I'm hoping it starts getting a little bit better anyway. In terms of progress for the last four months, how have I done at the gym? Well, out of anything I'm gonna take away from what I've been doing at the gym, I am so much stronger than I have been. Um, this is probably the strongest I've ever been in my entire life. And just based on January, I'm so much stronger. So literally the entire time I've gone to the gym, I've always had um, like a goal where I've wanted to do five reps, five sets of 100 kg bench press, which is like 200 and so and so uh, pounds. Now. That was what I've always wanted to do. Uh, and before that, I just wanted to get one rep on 100 kg as just like my one rep max. I can safely say as of two or three weeks ago, I think it was three weeks ago, I did my heavy day, my bench day. Um, I was like, okay, um, let's give it a go. And I smashed it. I was so happy. I was literally, I was the only person in the gym. So every time I did the five reps, my first set, I was like, yes. Did another five set reps and I was like, so I was just like quite excited to myself while I was doing it. And uh, I was really happy that I did it. So that is now the strongest bench that I have had. And that actually applies to everything else. Everything else that I've been doing in terms of weightlifting, um, I've just been increasing it. I think what's been really important for me is tracking my weights and making sure I'm doing like a progressive overload. Because before, sometimes I just do the same weights week by week kind of thing. Uh, but now that I'm trying to increase the weight like a tiny bit every single time, it's helping a lot. And because I give myself like three weeks before I do the heaviest week again, so I do a, like a lighter week, a medium weight week, and then a heavy week, it tends to let my body recover a little bit before I start doing the really heavy stuff. Because I think if I was trying to do heavy every week, I wouldn't really be able to progressively overload kind of thing. But in terms of strength, I'm very happy. Um, Stomach-wise, uh, it's it's still there, I'm not gonna lie. So let's have a little, little ganders. I've literally just come from the gym, so. Oh, how are we looking? I hate the lighting, the lighting's so bad.
I mean, I think we look okay. I think I kind of need to lose some weight to really appreciate what I've built up. Because all I see is someone that's just a little bit overweight kind of thing. That's, that's just what I see. But uh, I'm hoping, just like, com I need to compare myself to week one. I need to see this side by side to see if I am actually look like I'm making progress. I know I'm getting stronger, but I just hope I look a little bit better. Because I put the effort in. I've been consistent. Out of 18 possible days to go to the gym in March, I went 14 times. I had one Friday off because I needed to get a video out, so I actually had to miss the gym for that one. Uh, and then I had one week where I had the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday off because I think I just fancied it. I just fancied a little week off just for like a recovery kind of thing. And uh, But other than that, I think I've been doing quite well with consistency uh, in food. I've been doing quite well apart from snacking. Um, but that will try to fix. Problem is this it's around the house kind of thing and I struggle to say no to it when it's there. Like, I know willpower is very important with dieting. But I think one of the problems is, for me, if I walk past a chocolate bar, I can say no to the chocolate bar. I'm not going to eat you because I'm on a diet. So I walk past it, I get my healthy snacks, and I go back upstairs. And I come down again, and then I see it again, and I'm like, no. And then progressively, as that happens more and more often, it only takes once where I'm just like, I really fancy that. So I, I have it kind of thing. So that's my problem when it's like, around me and unfortunately I, I'm not in an environment where I can just like purge everything away so yeah it's just one of those things so you see it's a combination of it needs to be a bit more willpower and I just really need to keep it out of sight but they're everywhere I just can't dodge them but uh yeah that is another monthly update uh we're back next month hopefully we've cut a bit more weight I should probably weigh myself should we quickly do that let's have a look now, I have just eaten, so this will probably be terrible. 14 stone, 13. So that's pretty much 15 stone there. But I would say I'm less. That's not completely accurate. That was an update anyway. Thanks for watching.